Congratulations, Marissa Mayer, on your new job at Yahoo. Now, Kara Swisher has some questions for you. We'll have that and more right here, right now on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. And as I promised, we got Kara Swisher on the phone joining us now. Kara, um, thanks for joining us here. Let's start going through the let's go let's start going through the questions. I have so many. You have so many. Let's start with number one. Let's start with number one. How are you going to attract the talent? Yeah, exactly. I think that's the biggest question. You know, her promise is to bring innovation into Yahoo, but that's easier said than done. Mm. Um, you know, it's going to take a miracle worker to get these products relevant again for consumers. And while Yahoo has a big audience, which its board always touts, it hasn't made uh, hay of it very much in the past few years. So the question is, does she have some magic Steve Jobs-like mojo that she can pull off here? Well, that's a great question. Does she have the mojo? Um, so secondly, how willing is she to make the cuts, right? Cuts slash workers. Yep. I mean, this company is way, way too big for its prospects at this point. I mean, it, what, a lot of the comp a lot of uh, other CEOs, and there's been a lot <laughs> recently, um, have made big cuts, but they haven't made the real significant cuts. And the question is, will she be able to do so? And she certainly has the power to do so, but the question is, will she have? Uh, really the guts to do so. It's a big, hard call, and, uh, but Yahoo has to sort of, I hate to use the word right-size, but they have to right-size themselves. Well, let's start with the, that's actually, let's take those first two together. Can she attract talent and can she cut the workforce? Aren't they two equal and opposite forces? Well, one thing she could do is buy companies. I mean, that's a good mm. way to do that. And the question is, can she keep them and inspire them? She's been an inspiring leader at Google in the past. Recently, she's sort of been more on the outs of the power structure there. But she certainly contributed a lot, and a lot of especially young people have great regard for her. She's not that old herself, but compared to a lot of the young entrepreneurs she is. So uh, she, the question is, can she inspire people to, to do things, um, to, to do things that are beyond and, and beyond their capabilities? And the second thing is, why would you go to Yahoo over you know, Facebook slash Google slash Amazon slash Apple and, and then all the startup part. Okay, I, I guess t turnaround's part of the answer to that, the, the p potential that it could be back from, you know, it, it's beleaguered state. Let's go to another one. Um, the senior management team, who's she going to bring in and who's she going to keep? Right. Well, you know, the question is, can she convince Ross Levinson to stay? Right now, he's uh, on his way out the door, I suspect, and probably a good idea, given he was he lost the race to her. Um, the question is, will she bring in some Googlers? I mentioned a couple mm. people, including a guy that works in sales who's pretty prominent, and Enrique De Castro. She's got a, a lot of ex-Googlers who have left uh, Google who have great regard for her. So the question is, can she bring in, you know, some people to really take control? Mm, and that would be very interesting. And of course, when you bring in people from the outside, those that are remaining there tend to get bent out of shape somewhat. And they have a learning curve. They have a learning curve. Like, they don't have time here. And so the question is, how much of a learning curve can these guys have yeah. uh, before they have to get some answers? So you also asked about the product lineup. What, what's, mm -hmm. the under, what's the underlying question here, Cara? Where is the exciting product? Yahoo didn't invent Instagram. Yahoo didn't invent the list of what Yahoo didn't invent over the past few years is rather long, especially because it's in their sweet spots. So under Mayor, she's going to go into products rather than media, which has always been their strong suit. And she does like media. She was, you know, she had a Google finance efforts, although that didn't win over Yahoo. And Yahoo is very strong in certain areas. And the question is, will she stress those areas or she try to come up with all new ones? Very hard to come up with new ideas, but she's got a lot of goodwill in Silicon Valley, so. Yeah, and that obviously helps. But big question for anyone is to know who your competition is, right? Right, right, exactly. If she's going to aim at Google, good luck with that. You know what I mean? She's better, better than anyone else, how difficult that is. But if she's going to aim at, uh, at at an area that that hasn't, you know, if she's going to aim at Facebook, difficult. Hmm. She's going to aim at Apple, difficult. So the question is, what is Yahoo still remains today? And the question is, what is Yahoo under... Marissa, Marissa Mayer. And uh, the, the other question that I've got is, how do you deal with the board? I mean, the, the board, um, you know, obviously wants results. How is she going to deal with them? Well, they like her and they picked her, so they're going to give her some room, I assume. And she's a very powerful person in her own right. So the question is, it's a very mouthy board now. Before it was sort of a lackluster board. Now it's a board that likes to backseat drive, I think. Um, you've got Dan Loeb, who's a big shareholder. And he's going to be, you know, mm. he, she was, he, she was her, his pick, so presumably he'll support her. But he wants that stock to get up. And so eventually, you know, she's got to deliver results. Mm, she certainly does.